examination of the accused in case of rape examination of accused is an essential component of any rape investigation as it helps to collect evidence and corroborate corroborate any history given by victim done by preferably by same doctor who has examined victim thus help to corroborate the history and look for any specific injury inflicted by victim then procedure take consent in writing after explaining to him that results of examination might go against him number 2 begin examination without delay as any signs of the act if present disappear rapidly number 3 recall identification marks after he is identified by escorting police constable number 4 note exact time date and place of examination then number 5 note any development of genital organs and physical power of accused and compared with that of female to determine possibility of overpowering her number 6 take general history but omit specific history of the incident number 7 observe the mental state and general behavior number 8 8 record if he appears to be under influence of alcohol or drugs number 8 examine the clothes for tears and loss of buttons hair fibers and foreign matter cosmetic content traces for example lipstick blood stains mud and other stains grass etc seminal stains then examine the nail scrapings for blood epithelial cells fibers etc note matting of pubic hair due to the emission of semen look for presence of any female hair or face body or clothes presence of feminine pubic hair in the pubical fold suggests commission of offense look for existence of venereal diseases look for struggle marks that is bruises scratches and bite marks on face neck hands thighs and genitals and estimate the age of these injuries examination of genitals no development of genital organ with specific reference to potency note any scratch or abrasion or bruising on genitals forceful penetration against a resistance into a virgin hymen may produce tear on bruising of frenulum of purpose in uncircumcised uncircumcised and abrasions of gland pins in both un circumcised and circumcised reddening of glands especially of rim often patchy is more common accused pins is washed with saline and material is stained with pen polystyrene stain vaginal and cervical cells and bar body identification suggests a recent intercourse examine glands of vaginal cells by cleaning organs with filter paper and exposing paper of vapors of lugol's iodine paper becomes brown if vaginal epithelial cells are present because of glycogen the test remains positive up to fourth day if the accused is not circumcised uh, foreskin may be retracted and presence of absence of smegma on coronal corona gland is should be noted absence of smegma may indicate the intercourse might have been performed but presence of smegma absolutely negates possibility of complete penetration smegma usually requires about 24 hours to collect specimens to be collected first hair matted pubic hair pubic hair combing and avulsed pubic hair scalp hairs and loose hair found anywhere on body nail scrapings swabs from coronal sulcus purpose penile and shaft and urethral orifice blood then saliva medical legal importance procedure of examination of accused in case of rape is more or less same as in case of examination of victim here also say a same prerequisition requisite requisites are necessary are necessary and same formality should be observed and same and the, one point is consent from the accused is not needed uh, uh, for his examination okay, okay. thank you